Hello everyone, this is B. Ramya, Assistant Professor, EC Department. In the subject, Analog and Digital Electronics, Unit 3, Lecture Number 3, about the JPEG Small Signal Model and Common Source and Common Brain Amplifiers. Field Detector Transistor is a voltage controller device, that is, the output current, that is, the drain current, depends on the input voltage, that is, gate to source voltage, as well as the drain to source voltage. That is, drain current is a function of gate to source voltage VTS and drain to source voltage VDS. So, based on the dependency of drain current on the VGS and VDS, we have three parameters that are defined as transconductance, GM, dynamic output resistance, RT and amplification factor, mu. So, let us see each of these parameters. Transconductance, GM. It is the ratio of change in the drain current that is delta ID or dou ID by change in the gate to source voltage that is dou VGS at a constant VDS because ID depends on VGS and VDS. By keeping one parameter as constant, we can define the other. The maximum value of GM is by making VGS is equal to 0 and this value of Per GM is denoted as GM0. The expression for the transconductance can be determined from the expression of drain current, that is, drain current ID is equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS by VGS of whole square. By partial differentiating this expression of ID with respect to gate to source voltage, that is, VGS, dou ID by dou VGS is transconductance GM, that is equal to IDSS is a constant, so IDSS x squared differentiation is 2x, so 2 times of 1 minus VGS by VGS of, again differentiation of this is VGS by VGS, and that is 1, 1 by VGS of, so we will get VGS of. By putting VGS is equal to 0, then the transconductance will be maximum. So that is when we keep VGS is equal to 0, the maximum value of GM that is GM0 is equal to 2 IDSS by VGS of 1 minus this is 0, so into 1. So 2 IDSS by VGS of is GM0. Now substituting this value of 2 IDSS by VGS of into GM expression, this can be written as GM is equal to GM0 into 1 minus VGS by VGS of. Dynamic output resistance. It is the ratio of the change in the drain to source voltage to the change in the drain current by keeping VGS constant. That is, small rt is equal to dou VDS by dou id at a constant VGS. One more parameter is amplification factor. This amplification factor is defined as the ratio of the change in the drain to source voltage to the change in the gate to source voltage by keeping the drain current constant. So, mu is equal to dou VDS by dou VGS at a constant ID. Now, the relation between these three parameters is obtained from this expression of mu that is mu is equal to dou VDS by dou VGS is equal to by multiplying and dividing with uh, dou ID dou VDS by dou ID into dou ID by dou VGS. We know that dou VDS by dou ID is the drain resistance RT, substituting here RT, and dou ID by dou VGS. Dou ID by dou VGS is GM. So, dou ID by dou VGS is GM. So, the amplification factor mu is a product of drain resistance RT and transconductance GM. Mu is equal to RT into GM. J fit a small signal model. By defining those three parameters, now we can write the expression for the drain current as ID is equal to GM VGS plus 1 by RT into VDS, where GM is dou ID by dou VGS by keeping VDS constant. Small letters indicates the change in the values and the capital letters indicates the DC values, that is constant values. So, this dou ID by dou VGS can be written as delta ID by delta VGS or so this change can be written with small letters as ID by VGS by keeping VDS as constant that is change in VDS small VDS is equal to 0. Similarly
similarly from the drain resistance 1 by rd is equal to dou id by dou vds by keeping vts as constant so we can write it as delta id by delta vds or id by vds by keeping vts constant that is change in vts as zero now from this equation of drain current now we can construct the two port small signal model jpet can be operated in three configurations common source common gate and the common drain configurations so that is one terminal is common between input and output one terminal is used as an input and the other terminal is used as a output the most commonly used configuration is a common source configuration so in the common source configuration gate is a input terminal drain is a output terminal source is common between input and output so between gate and source the voltage is represented as vgs plus minus and the input current ig is zero because the gate junction is reverse bias so ig is always zero so it is providing high input impedance so here input side we are representing as a open circuit coming to the output side id drain current is equal to gm vgs vts is the input parameter that is voltage so this can be represented as constant current source that is gm vgs plus 1 by rt into vds that is here resistance rt so this forms a small signal equivalent model of the jpet so jpet can be replaced with this small signal equivalent model while analyzing the amplifier circuit so first amplifier circuit that we are going to discuss is common source amplifier are represented as cs amplifier the transistor jpet is connected in the voltage divider bias configuration which is the most commonly used and the input signal is applied at the gate and output is taken from the drain so this voltage divider bias configuration is same as in the case of a pgt so resistor r1 and r2 are used at the gate of the transistor and the resistance rd is used at the drain terminal and source resistance rs along with bypass capacitor cs are connected at the source terminal. in order to analyze this amplifier circuit first we have to get the ac equivalent circuit while getting the ac equivalent circuit dc supply must be zero that is vdd is to be grounded and the capacitors c1 and c2 are short circuited so here c1 short circuited c2 short circuited and the other end of r1 is connected to vdd that is ground so other end of r1 is connected to ground r2 is ground and this pet is replaced with its small signal equivalent model gm vts and small rd here we have to make change small rd and on the drain terminal now we have rd which is connected to ground so rd connected to ground so this is the ac equivalent circuit so this ac equivalent circuit is redrawn here so from the input side resistor r1 is grounded R2 is grounded, R1 is grounded, R2 is grounded, and at the drain we have R3 grounded, we have R3 grounded. So this is the AC equivalent circuit of the common source amplifier. From this, now we have to calculate the input impedance, output impedance, and the voltage gain. So input impedance Z I by looking into this terminals is simply the parallel combination of R1 and R2. So input impedance zeta is equal to R1 parallel with R. Next, in order to calculate the output impedance, input voltage must be zero. That is V I is zero. So by keeping V I is zero, V I is same as V G S. So therefore, when V I is zero, V G S is zero. When V G S is zero, G M into V G S is zero. That is, this is simply open circuit. Now, by looking into these terminals, the output impedance Z naught is a parallel combination of small rd and capital rd output impedance is not is equal to small rd in parallel with capital r but this drain resistance small rd is very larger compared to the network resistor rd per rd very much greater than 10 times of rd now this parallel combination will get a smaller value that is z not a output impedance is approximately capital r coming to the voltage gain in order to calculate the voltage gain we require input voltage and the output voltage 
coming to the input voltage, input voltage and gate source voltage both are equal VI is equal to VGS. VI is equal to VGS. Next, output voltage V0. So V0 is the voltage drop across this parallel combination of RP and capital RP. So the current flowing through this parallel combination is opposite of this current. So it is minus Gm VGS into RP parallel with RP. So V0 is equal to minus Gm VGS RP parallel with RP. Now the voltage gain AV is equal to V0 by VI. So V0 by VI is equal to V0 is equal to minus Gm VGS RP parallel with RP by VGS. So VGS VGS will be cancelled. Now AV is equal to minus Gm into RP parallel with RP. But for large value of small RP, we can write AV is equal to voltage gain is equal to V0 by VI approximately is equal to minus Gm capital RP where small RP is greater than 10 times of RP. Common drain amplifier, CD amplifier or this is also called as a source part. So this is analogous to the common collector amplifier or emitter follower in the VGT. Now this is the simple circuit using the common drain configuration. Here input signal is applied at the gate and output is taken from the source. The AC equivalent circuit is obtained by making VDD is equal to 0 and shorting the capacitors C1 and C2. Now at the gate we have the input voltage and RG drawn. So at the gate input voltage VI is applied and RG is drawn. And drain terminal is grounded because VDD is 0. So drain terminal is grounded. Next at the source now we have the resistance RS and from where we are taking the output voltage V. This AC equivalent circuit is redrawn by interchanging this drain and source terminals. Here drain is grounded here. And so from drain we have GM VGS to the source here. And from source now we have small RT which is written down and RS. Now using this circuit let us analyze the common drain amplifier to find the input impedance of the impedance of the voltage. So input impedance is simply by looking into this input terminal resistance is RG. So input impedance zeta is equal to RG. Now in order to calculate the output impedance by keeping VI is equal to 0. Now if we keep VI is equal to 0, this gate terminal is grounded. So simply here this part can be removed simply. So now we can write VGS minus plus. So this gate is grounded. So the leftover circuit is this. So from this circuit, now let us calculate the output impedance. In order to calculate the output impedance, let us apply KCL at node S. So by applying KCL at node S, the sum of currents entering into node S is I0 plus GM VGS is equal to currents entering into the resistors RD and RS. So that is I0 plus GM VGS is equal to I RD plus I RS. Now the current flowing through this RD is V0 by RD. V0 by R. And similarly V0 by here the current is V0 by Rs. V0 by Rs. Now we can write I0 as I0 is equal to by taking common V0 from these two terms V0 1 by Rd plus 1 by Rs minus Gm VGS. If we observe VGS and V0 both are the voltages at the parallel branches but they have the opposite polarity. So we can write V0 is equal to minus VGS or VGS is equal to minus V. So substituting VGS is equal to minus V0 and taking common V0. Now V0 1 by RT plus 1 by RS plus GM which is I0. Now the output impedance Z0 is the ratio V0 by I0. V0 by I0. Substituting the I0 value V0 into 1 by RT plus 1 by RS plus GM. V0 V0 will be cancelled. So rearranging this as 1 by 1 by GM. Now, so this Z0 can be written as RD parallel combination with RS parallel with 1 by GM. For larger values of RD, we can write Z0 is equal to RS parallel with 1 by GM. In order to calculate the voltage gain, let us get the expression for the output voltage. Output voltage is the voltage drop across this parallel combination of RD and RS. 
and the current flow includes rd and rs can be written as gm vgs so now v not is equal to gm vgs into rt parallel with rs so v not is equal to gm vgs into rt parallel with rs now in order to get the expression for vi now we have to apply kvl around the perimeter of the circuit that is vi minus vgs minus v not is equal to vr vi is equal to vgs plus v not vi is equal to vgs plus v not so from this now we can write vgs is equal to vi minus v not now in the output voltage expression now we can replace this vgs with vi minus v not now v not is equal to gm vi minus v not into rd parallel with rs so v not is equal to gm vi rd parallel with rs minus gm v not rd parallel with rs to separate vi and v so now we can write v not is equal to 1 plus gm rd parallel with rs is equal to gm vi rd parallel with rs now the voltage gain is equal to v not by vi is equal to gm rd parallel with rs by 1 plus gm rd parallel with rs for larger values of rd voltage gain av is equal to v not by vi approximately equal to gm rs by 1 plus gm rs and this value of voltage gain is very near to 1 so that this acts as voltage follower that is output is equal to input